welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over converting from moles into grams and grams back into moles. If you don't know how to find the molar mass of an element or compound or a molecule, check out my other video on how to find the molar mass. So converting in between moles and grams is very easy. We only need one unit conversion, and that is that one mole is equal to molar mass. And just as a refresher, we find that by looking on the periodic table. And this conversion is very useful. For example, what if in the lab, your teacher said, can you go and grab 0.5 moles of aluminum? And you're like, okay, 0.5 moles of aluminum. How can I measure that out? Well, the easiest way to measure that out is to convert it into grams. And we can do that by using our conversion factor that one mole is equal to the molar mass of an element. So I need my dimensional analysis. I'm trying to convert from moles into grams. So one mole goes on the bottom of my dimensional analysis so that the unit mole will cancel. And I just need to know what goes on top of that conversion factor. So all that you have to do is look on the periodic table, find aluminum, which is number 13, and you can see that the atomic mass of aluminum is 26.98 grams. So all that I have to do, and again, my moles will cancel out. Remember, anything on top of your fraction will multiply, anything on the bottom will divide. So in your calculator, all that you have to do is put 0.5 times 26.98, which is equal to 13.49 grams of aluminum. So if you were asked to grab 0.5 moles of aluminum, you would weigh out 13.49 grams, and that would give you 0.5 moles of aluminum. We can also go back the other direction. So let's say I had 27.9 grams of copper. And I want to know how many moles are in that sample of copper. Again, we use our dimensional analysis. Grams is going to go on the bottom because I want that unit to cancel and one mole will go on top. All that we need to do is figure out how many grams need to go on the bottom of our fraction. We look at copper on the periodic table. It's number 29 and it has a mass of 63.55 grams. So my unit of grams will cancel because I have one on the top and one on the bottom of my fraction. Anything on the top of my fraction multiplies, anything on the bottom divides. So in your calculator, you put 27.9 divided by 63.55, which is equal to 0 0.439 moles of copper. We can also use this conversion factor when we're working with compounds or molecules. So what if you were doing a lab and in your lab manual it says that you need to obtain 0.75 moles of salt in ACL. You need to obtain 0.75 moles of salt for your experiment. And you need to know how much salt you need to weigh out on your scale. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what is the molar mass of salt. So salt in ACL is equal to the mass of sodium, which is 22.99, plus the mass of chlorine, which is 35.45, which equals 55 0.44 grams. So for my dimensional analysis, I can put one mole on the bottom because I want my units of mole to cancel out. Grams will go on the top and I use the mass 55.44 because that is the molar mass of NaCl. So in your calculator, you just put 0.75 times 55.44 and that will equal 41.58 grams of NaCl. So you would know exactly how much salt you need to measure out. We can do the same thing with a molecule, something like 
carbon dioxide. Let's say that I have 12 grams of carbon dioxide and I want to know how many moles are in that sample. The first thing we need to do is figure out the molar mass of carbon dioxide which is equal to the mass of carbon, which is 12.01, plus two oxygens, because there's an O2. So plus 16.00, plus 16.00 carbon. That will give us a mass of 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. So for my dimensional analysis, I'm converting from grams into moles. So this time mole will go on top, and 44.01 grams goes on the bottom so that my unit of grams will cancel and I'm left with moles. And in your calculator this time, you'll put 12 divided by 44.01, which is equal to 0 0.27 moles of CO2. So converting between grams and moles is one of the easiest unit conversions because all that you have to do is look at the periodic table. You don't need to worry about Avogadro's number or anything else. You just need to look on the periodic table to find the mass of your element, and you just need to know whether or not your mass needs to go on the top or the bottom of your fraction. And again, if we're starting with moles, moles will always go on the bottom because we want that unit to cancel. If we're starting with grams, that unit will go on the bottom because we want that unit to cancel. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see further examples of stoichiometry, check out some other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.